What's up YouTube, welcome to a new video. I'm about to start my third semester in physics grad school and I wanna tell you what kind of classes I'll be taking. So just as a reminder, if you haven't seen the first uh, couple of videos I posted on this channel, here's what I took in my first semester and here's what I took in my second semester and now it's time for my third semester. Now I'm a rising second year uh, grad student, which means my course load is gonna be much less than what it was during my first year. Uh, especially since last semester I took four classes instead of the usual three. So the first class I'll be taking is particle physics part two. So as I mentioned before, I'm doing particle physics research, so it's only natural to take a particle physics class. As for the topics covered in this course, the first thing we'll be learning about is quantum chromodynamics, which is the theory of the strong nuclear force, uh, which describes how quarks and gluons interact with each other. The other thing is neutrino physics, Right now, neutrinos are a huge deal in the physics community, especially because they are candidates for what's known as a CP violating particle. That is, uh, there's this big mystery in the universe that why is there more matter than antimatter, and neutrinos might be the, the solution to this mystery. So right now, there are many experiments looking for uh, neutrinos that violate this CP symmetry, which is charge parity symmetry. Uh, there's an experiment in Japan known as the TDK experiment. There is the Dune experiment being built in the United States right now. So a lot of hype right now is on neutrinos. The last thing we'll be learning in this class is uh, physics beyond the standard model. So remember the standard model is our best understanding of how nature works at its fundamental. It describes all the particles that we've known and we've measured. Uh, but physicists are almost certain that there's something beyond the standard model. There's more to reality than just what we currently know right now. So things like supersymmetry and dark matter are beyond the standard model, and those are some things that we'll be covering in this class. All right, so the next course that I'll be taking is computational data science and machine learning. Yes, machine learning. Now, why in the world is a physics PhD student taking a course on machine learning in the computer science department? Well, first of all, uh, as part of the PhD program, I have to take a course that's outside of the physics department. So this course uh, fulfills that requirement. But the second and more important part is that machine learning and deep learning, more specifically, can be actually helpful in my research. Uh, we're seeing more and more uh, machine learning techniques being applied in physics these days, especially at the LHC, where they're trying to build some neural network that would uh, identify different particles without human intervention. Uh, and so machine learning is gaining a lot of traction in physics circles. So what do we cover in this class? Well, the idea of uh, machine learning and neural networks is that you have a bunch of data and you want to find out some pattern in that data. So it's basically statistics. We're going to be starting with the foundations, which is statistics, and then we're going to move on to uh, the higher level stuff like neural networks and how to actually build a neural network. So those are the two classes I'll be taking next semester. I'm really looking forward to taking the particle physics class, uh, mainly to learn about the open problems in the field right now and how I can start tackling them in my research. And I'm also looking forward for the machine learning class uh, because I want to add that to my skill set. Let me know what classes you're taking next semester in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.